right, you, what's up? My name is Chicken Fried Rice, and uh, welcome to something a little new. This is Minecraft, and uh, I've been playing it for a few days. I just bought Minecraft, and I started playing the other day, and that's partially the reason why no videos have gone up. I have to say, this game is pretty addictive, but I'm starting to get used to it, and I'm going to start spreading out my time and start working on other things again. But, welcome to the server. I play on this server, and... Um, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour of the setup I got going on. And uh, so, this Minecraft server on which I play is Tidecraft. And uh, you got a nice little setup here. You have a portal to a shop. In this game, you have a game currency. As you can tell, I'll show you. My currency right now, my balance is only $50. That's because I spent all my money buying Ender Pearls. You can buy and sell stuff. Ender pearls are really hard to come by in this game because Endermen are just like the most rarest thing ever, except for the mob spawn area, which is just suicide. Same thing for gunpowder and TNT, but gunpowder and TNT is reserved for members only. So the only way to get that is to kill a creeper, but it's very rare to meet them outside of the mob spawn area on the server. And it does happen a few times though. Now the reason why it's hard to get anything in here is because the mob spawner is so crowded. If you enter this area, you will automatically die. Stop the track of all the zombies uh, here. Yeah. You enter here and it's basically suicide. You're just asking to die. So it's always nice. No, it's fun. So we have a mob spawn area. We have a public forest. We have a mine, uh, designated mining area. And we have all these cool things in the server. So it's a pretty neat setup. They also have public enchanting tables, the public anvil, public crafting tables, and all that. But in the server, you need a faction, because if you don't have a faction, people can destroy your stuff. They can go right through. There's no rules blocking that, but once you have a faction, you join the faction, you cannot destroy something of another faction. So people from other factions cannot attack, well, they can attack you and kill you as a person, but they can't destroy what you build or anything in your zone. They can't mine in your area either. So... I'm going to take you guys straight to my um, faction home and there are basic teleportations command in the server just for faction homes and the spawn area. So welcome to my faction home. Now this is not much but because we're inside this is the spawn for anyone basically. And so um, <coughs> it's a pretty nice setup. Now this is a trap. I will show you guys that later but basically this game I'm just going to be showing you guys a little bit of a tour and what the setup we got going and all that. So as you can tell we got a nice little setup here. We got a sh public sugarcane area with public brewing stands. We have this nether wart built. Well actually this public. I'm not sure if this is public uh, or who it belongs to but there's a lot of agriculture in that building. Then you have this huge house. I believe it's still mainly unclaimed by anyone because we just finished building it today except for the basements which was already claimed by um, was claimed by let's see yeah, Cedo and actually a bunch of uh, other people were already claiming the basement but really there's nothing yet established in the upper floors of this building nice little balcony over some water and a hole apparently you can drop into that's not good and uh, let's go on top top floor yeah there you go so that's what's happening no one's really claimed this area yet hopefully someone soon is going to start selling up in this area which would be nice and uh, right now I'm taking a beautiful swim <coughs> in the water right here you have some uh, random dirt holes and uh, this is inside the castle now this is the castle in which our um, the majority of our clan is set up, but really all that building to my left, that building there, these are all really part of the uh, setup of our faction. And uh, it's pretty nice. DH stands for our clan name, Diamond Hunter. And uh, so, oh, this is a really new. Uh, is this a mob spawner? I wonder. Rin 2, this guy is uh, in charge of everything. Mob spawner, yes, it is a mob spawner. I love it. Oh. He just made a bomb spawner. Now, I made one originally underground, but it worked. But it, because, I don't know why, but this server has real issues spawning mobs. So I'm not sure if this mob spawner works. I'm going to ask him right now. Uh, let's see. I wonder if he got it to work. Um, because that would be quite interesting. Give me a second. 
All right, so ring two is making a mob spawner, which is amazing. <coughs> Sorry about that. I just uh, needed to uh, clear my throat there. So we got that, and uh, no response yet. So we might not get a response, but that's fine. Um, there we go, a little bit of an entrance. I guess she's still working on it. And uh, if we go in here, the mob spawner. Green two, green two. All right, he's got a nice little setup. No, hey, hey, no, I'm locked in here, buddy. What are you doing? Help! <laughs> yeah, he, did he put a lever inside to open that door? I'm stuck. All right, so that's nice. He locked me inside. Um, I guess there's only one thing to do. Uh, no, 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 open. Help, help. <laughs> no, I'm stuck. Come on. Be a good. Hey, that's not nice. Mm. All right. So, I'm just going to go back to the faction home. It's easier that way. And we shall continue our guided tour. So, down this ladder right here, we have the clan shop. You can buy and sell stuff here using the currency. This is all set up by Rin, too. So, you're buying and selling from him. You can't really sell though, you're only buying really, and he gets money. He has a bunch of things, including diamond swords. Ooh, a lot. But those are expensive. They're actually more expensive from than ender pearls. Um, public enchanting table. Um, nether portal brought to you by Chicken Fried Rice. Yes, I spent a half hour in the nether, wandering the nether to find this. So, um, we're going to take a little bit of a tour of everyone's little setup. This is uh, Reen 2's little house. And uh, if we go down here you can see that he has quite a little bit of a setup he's got um, quite a few things he's got a lot of nether wart and he has some sugar cane on so some brewing stands over there that's all beautiful so that's always good go back up here and really there's quite a few people uh, um, some are in the house not that many and so we go over here this guy I've never seen on I saw this building one day up here it was all on fire but nothing really happened. Fartman is probably one of the people that has the most amount of diamond in uh, our faction. He just has diamonds coming out of his butt. But got himself a little nice setup there of crafting tables and brewing stand. He doesn't take a lot of room. I take a lot of room. You guys will see. Except he has a lot of furnaces. I don't know why. Here we have this guy. Um, Queen's room. Uh, he just has this. And it's good enough for him. Yeah, it's all fine. And uh, this right here is mine. Hmm, that's missing. We'll fix that right after. Alright, so um, this is my little setup. I uh, walk in here, nothing too special. I have a, a little bit of a trap door. Just uh, finished wiring it here. It's a pretty nice little thing. You hit the lever and... Wait, and... Yeah, there you go. So I got some stick pistons working there. So just a little bit of a shortcut. And so this is my main area. You can see I've got quite some nice stuff got some diamond armor bows and all that so i'm okay setup wise don't have that much wood food wise i'm fine got a little bit of other things and this is all the gunpowder i have which is nothing because my mob spawner doesn't work because this game is making my mobs the mob spawner itself works it's just that mobs rarely spawn in. i think i've only had like a few mobs spawn in here so these are my brewing stands i just keep them filled with water bottles just in case you know whenever i need got those cauldrons um this is my own farm i guess might as well collect some sugar cane while i'm here can co collect the uh, pumpkins and the watermelons we'll see also have some wheat pumpkins watermelon here we have a lot and um, this is where i store all my uh refined ore so i got quite a lot of iron diamonds also um lots of gold not that much emeralds but not that you need them redstone I have a bunch of, um, got some nether ward, this is my potion chest, I keep everything, my potions here, and I really keep everything organized, like that's mob things, and then I have all my potions, I have, um, poison potions, I've got uh, regenerations, and I've got speed potions, all with redstone integrated into them, right here is where I grow my nether ward, looks like I forgot to replant, hmm. I think we're gonna go and plant some nether ward because I forgot to do so. Let's grab that. Uh, let's go plant some nether wart. And so 
really, that's pretty much my setup right now. Not too many things happening. I'm going to start getting to work on a project. I want to set up a large... Well, I don't know. I want to get uh, more of a base going underground. We'll see about that, though, later. Uh, I've already set up the door for my underground base. It took me a little bit of time. But basically, this is as far as it goes. Tunnel, boom, secret door. No one will know about it. Little underground base, except for all you guys that watch my YouTube channel. So that's all nice. Also got myself a beautiful anvil. And that is pretty much it guys nothing much happening here besides that so uh, hope you guys enjoyed leave a comments below and thoughts about this and i will see you guys all next time oh and uh, right before we leave i just kind of forgot to show you guys this but i guess i should because i talked about making a mob spawner that mobs don't really spawn in ever so i'm going to show you guys this right now so it's a pretty standard mob spawner setup. I looked up the tutorial online because I'm pretty noobish in Minecraft. I will, I will admit it because um, basically I've been playing for the past few days. Look at those W's. Amazing, I know. Uh, put this uh, cobblestone block there. Break this sign. Alright. Uh, we are good. Let's put the sign back up. Uh, okay, no, we're going to fall down. That's fine. Now we put the sign back up, and here we go. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour now, unfortunately for me. Okay, so there's a hole in the bottom of my mod spawner. That's nice to know. I'm not sure if that's a texture glitch, but no water is falling out. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So if I go down here, I got this long, long, long tunnel. And uh, basically, you guys are going to come upon my mob spawning area. Um, it's really simple now I don't understand why mobs just don't spawn on but it, it must be something to serve it because this is really like everyone does a setup and I don't see anything that I did wrong with it I went over I double checked everything got my mob spawning area it's all nice and uh, well done and then I've got the water currents like if I let myself go here I'm going I'm going and look at that now I'm going up so it's pretty standard setup so Hope you guys enjoy and uh, yep.